up around the woods like anyone there did the same. Things get odd, dark comes creeping through a town, it seems insane. It's like walking the streets inside a dream where the owls are not what they seem. Drive my car, do as I'm told when I go to work out. So, uh, <laughs> we ran out of time again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, an early snowfall. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the shelter is not completed. It's, I mean, it's, in, it's farther along than it was last year. We, and we camped out here quite a bit. So, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. We brought our, our overnight gear. We're spending the night for the first time this season in the hot shelter. So thanks a lot for joining us, folks. Uh, got a few things we want to uh, take care of. First thing is uh, we got to get a door. <laughs> so I'm going to use the old frame that uh, we used last year, but instead of the boughs, I'm going to take that out and we're going to replace them with logs. Uh, the old boughs are, are red and dry, so we're going to use that to start our fire. That's going to be the first thing we're going to start because it's chilly. It's around minus 5 Celsius, which I believe is around 25 Fahrenheit. So it's a chilly day. We're going to start that fire. I'm going to go and start building up that door. Uh, full disclosure, I did bring the chainsaw because I had planned on uh, possibly continuing to fill up our wood shed over there. Uh, but this whole shelter was built with the hand tools only. With the exception of one beam that we put underneath the bed, I had the chainsaw at the time. Everything else on this shelter was built by hand. No power tools at all. So I know I have the chainsaw and I could save time, but it's a principal thing. I want to have it done with the hand tools. So. I'm going to get logs for that door, uh, we're going to try to find some moss, uh, hopefully it's not frozen underground, if it is it's no big deal, it's supposed to turn out warm again, uh, well warm-ish, uh, the following week, so uh, we should be able to come back next week and hopefully get the, the final gaps filled with moss, uh, so Sandra's going to work away at that, I'm going to get that door and the fire going, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video, we're going to have a great time. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably could still use this door. There we go. There's our old screen door. So I can still use this frame to build up our, our door.
found some. not working as well as it was last weekend. It is kind of frozen a little bit, but we'll see what we can pull out of there. That's not the same kind of moss I had last weekend, so I can't pull it out as much. It doesn't, go, it doesn't work too good, so uh, I think I'm gonna try a different spot. It's a little icy, but it's easier to grab. platform. So, this here is a uh, fat wood. We always keep it on hand. Love using it because it makes things really, really easy. See how this works out. Put that aside. If the wood was really wet, I would use that uh, piece of fat wood, but we're gonna try first off without it. See if we can get this fire going. And if we can start the fire without it, then we'll save it for another day. I don't know, the 
stuff it's not as dry as I thought it was going to be. Usually if it was dry it would snap a lot easier, it would break apart. Let's see how it goes. Now I'm creating a lot of smoke. No, I think we have fire. Oh, <laughs> it was touch and go. This stuff was full of ice and snow. Yeah. It's a tough balance because if I put too much, it's going to flame up. If I put too little, it's going to die out. Didn't have any trouble taking all that out? No, it no. came out, out of the door really easily. Good. Really easily. How did it go for you? Oh, good. Once I found the right kind of moss. I guess not all moss is created equally. You seem to get a nice load there. Is it frozen or? Uh, no, it's it's fluffy, but there's a lot of snow in it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was easy to grab. If I could find it underneath the snow, I had to keep digging around till I could get the right kind. So I brought one sled. It's probably enough for what we need to do if we need more. I'll, I would say so, yeah. I'll go get more after. We could pile it up near the fire and somewhat dry it out. Yeah. There's a lot of snow on top because I just brought it through the trail there. Oh, okay, okay. It's not, uh, it's not that bad. We can shake it off. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Good job, love. <sighs> It's a wonderful sound, isn't it? So like I said, uh, when uh, working on the shelter, everything's done with hand tools. So, I'm going to go collect uh, uh, a nice dead sanding tree over there. We're going to bring that over to Sandra so she can process it and uh, that'll give us uh, a good, uh, good amount for our door. Um, we do have some leftover pieces from previous work that we already have over there, which is great. So that gives us a little bit of a head start. So I'm going to bring one, maybe two trees over, and that way we'll have uh, enough to finish that door. If I can get around this. Ah, you got me. Oh, that's a big tree. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. It's hard to tell because it's kind of frozen. Yeah. Whether it's nice and, nice and solid or just frozen rotten. Is that are fire? You, is are that you clear? Yes. Is is that firewood or is that for the door? That's for the door and firewood. Okay. So what I'm figuring is pretty much anything from there on up. Yeah. That can be used for our door. Yeah. Everything lower down we can use for firewood. Cool. Sounds good. Yep. All right. Should probably I'm gonna get one more that's what we have over there and one more we should be good for a door I would think yes okay. all right good job thank you
By the way, this one sawed through, I can tell it's way too rotten. Yeah. So we can use it for firewood tonight. I don't know if you can tell how spongy that looks because I lose balance, but that's too rotten. Might be okay at the top though, it seems a little bit firmer. We'll bring it, we'll use part of it for firewood, the other part for the door if we can. I'm gonna go get my axe and process it. Firewood. Firewood? Yeah. Okay. Got a big hole. Yeah, there's a hole in it. Oh well. We'll have roasted ants. Yeah. I got another one pending over there, but uh, it's full of branches, so I'm just gonna process it. And yeah. The bottom part is rust is rusty. Yeah. <laughs> it's rotted, so it might just be firewood. Yeah. I took some of the branches off of this one, just threw it in the fire pit there. Nice. I'll start peeling what I can, and, yeah. and then you'll cut whatever you want for firewood, and we'll process the rest. Sounds good. Perfect. <laughs> right. I am not done working on that one, but okay. Put it over top of the other one, maybe to support it when you cut it. Mm -hmm.
There you go. So from here on down, it's a little bit too thick. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Over here. There you go. From here on down, it's a little bit too thick for uh, the door. So uh, we're going to keep this for firewood. And then we're going to process that, measure it, use it for our door. Along with the other logs over there. And this one here. We might not have enough for a full door, but we're going to get as far as we can. Half a door is better than no door. <laughs> I don't know about that. A door is a door. If you don't have a full door, what's the point? If you don't have a full door, you have a draft. Yeah. You have a window. <laughs> <laughs> it looks more like you're cooking your hands. Well, I'm cooking my hands too, but I'm cooking my moss. Get that snow off of it. Should have put it there earlier. Yeah. Might have to wait till tomorrow before we put it up. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think we'll have a t chance to do that today. I yeah. think having a door is more important. So. Yeah, it's gonna take a while too. Fun times though. Yep. It's nice. Freaking gorgeous. I feel good that, you know, this snow is probably going to be gone next weekend, yeah. so hopefully we can get stuff done again. More, but yeah. It's just, you can get stuff done this time of year with a little bit of snow, but it just makes everything harder, because, yeah. well, first of all, I had to dig with a shovel to find the moss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I found some, but it wasn't the right kind of moss, so I had to go back. Take a look at this, folks. Look how pretty this is. Oh, I thought you were talking so. about me. Well, that too. <laughs> that, totally, only that. That's yes. all I meant. Hopefully I can get you guys a nice panoramic shot here. We've collected a little bit of a little bit of wood, uh, so that should be enough for our door. We can keep working away at that. I'm gonna go get some water because uh, we're gonna need some for drinking and cooking. So here's the frame for our, for our old door. So uh, in order to, to mount it correctly to get the proper measurements on the logs, I need to keep it standing up uh, so that I know how far uh, to cut these logs that I'm putting through across. So I'm gonna tie it down from here to the inside, try to keep it nice and stable. And uh, then I'm gonna start putting uh, logs across and measuring the length I need to try to reduce the gap here as much as I can. It's hard to get an even uh, measurement because of course the tree bows in and out. So uh, I'm gonna tie her down, then we're gonna start chopping some pieces. Or sawing some pieces. Okay. Okay. Push that in. Now, 
So we've got to go and retie it now? No, it should hold. So we have a dehydrated meal for uh, our supper. So, need to boil up some water. I'm going to use the uh, Bitty Big Q grill. It's been really good. And uh, so we're going to boil up some water. And uh, pretty soon we should be having our uh, dehydrated meals. hanging out there but I'm scared it might get a little bit uh, slushy so I'm gonna hang it up in here there's more heat on this side Six pounds, three liters. Just gonna run a carabiner through it. Good. Yeah. Probably have to move it tonight, but. Yeah, we'll drain it tonight because we're not sure if we're gonna keep the fire going all night. So, trying to conserve some firewood for when we need it when it's minus 25 right here. I guess I should explain why I'm why I'm wearing surgical gloves. <laughs> I'm basically uh, wearing these inside my wet gloves that I'm working with, and it acts as like a, a a vapor barrier, I guess you would say. So uh, my hands don't get wet, and it's not as cold. So I thought I'd try that out today, and it works awesome. I'm definitely going to do that again this winter. Keeps the heat in there.
watch the whole length of my leg. Not a full setup, but it should help. I'm sure it will. Once we can get the fire flaming up there. Yeah. Just put some new wood, just take a few minutes. But... Yeah. Sweet. It's not going to be, you know, February cold tonight. We're going to be fine, even even if we're not fully insulated. We're going to have uh, our winter sleeping bags, which are more than enough for the kind of temperature we're going to get tonight. But we kind of like to sit back and warm up by the fire. I'm not sure how much heat we're going to be able to get. We're both a bit chilled, <laughs> looking forward to, to supper, and then I still got to start tying up that door, so that's going to take a while. So, good times. Still great to be here. It's so peaceful. It's so incredibly peaceful. Well, this little bag seems to work because it's still nice and hot. Yeah. Good. There's a bunch of water on top of yours. Yeah. So that's that fine. Good. Yep. Still a little bit watery, but uh, what do you think? I'm good to go. Good to go? Yeah. Okay. So as we said in an earlier video, the, the grill that we use is the uh, Bitty Big Q. And uh, the uh, manufacturer contacted us and like wanted to know if we'd be interested in trying it out for one of our videos. So, you know, it was really generous of them and uh, we've been happy with it ever since and uh, so we keep using it and uh, they uh, gifted us some items in the mail which is kind of neat um, first we have a little collapsible bottle here that's pretty cool so actually you can put it in cold water and hot water doesn't take any room fantastic and we got a nice cup and a set of utensils so I'm super excited about those yeah <laughs> they're pretty neat they weigh nothing they take no room and uh, basically they collapse into each other and then there's a little sliding mechanism here and you can just lock it into place and that keeps it from uh, from folding in on itself so we're gonna give these a try and be cool yeah, it comes with a knife too, so it'd be easier to butter your toast and yeah, cut there. your steak. There you go, once you have it <laughs> locked in there. Boom. Nice and light. I'm digging in. I'm hungry. I'm hoping it's I'm hoping we left it there long enough. Oh, she's pretty hydrated. Yeah. So we're probably pretty safe to take our vests off at this point. <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> Careful for your uh, for your poppy. Oh yeah, I got it stuck into my other jacket too. So thank you, veterans. I'm gonna put in the big jacket. If the temperature is dropping. You're not doing anything. A nice big heavy coat. That's gonna make a world of difference. Ooh, hot meal. Yeah, look at the steam. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Look at this nice chili. Oh wow. Don't you wish you would have gotten chili now? Well people can't see your chili. Delicious. It's like that. <laughs> mm. Mm. So 
nobody likes watching somebody eat. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, this is uh, what we got so far. Not bad, not bad. It's gonna need to be all cinched up, of course. And uh, once we have the whole thing done, and we have uh, moss that is thawed out, <laughs> it'll probably be next weekend. Hopefully it'll still be a bit warmer then. Then we're gonna you know, fill it with moss the same way we did the sidewalls here. That's working out pretty good, so, so far. <laughs> Pretty happy with it. What do you think, Sandra? Yeah, I think it's great. We're going to cut those logs there tomorrow, right? So well, we're going to try to trim them at some point, but pretty happy with it. See how it goes. More to do. Well, I remember. Oh, hi. <laughs> I remember now why I designed the walls the way I did. <laughs> See how the walls are going straight up, and because uh, it was always a question mark in my mind as to how do you feel it once you get near the uh, the point, and uh, totally forgot that <laughs> when I started making the door this way. So basically, we're gonna get to a point here where we're always gonna have a gap if we keep building it this way. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to put the logs on the inside parallel to our inner bars here, and we're gonna tie up to these and this one. So possibly those two and that one. And we're also gonna put another one across the bottom um, and, and cinch that one up so that the ones that we're putting uh, uh, perpendicular here so they won't slide down in case one of the uh, the jam knots gets loose I it's a bit confusing to explain <laughs> but uh, once we do it we're gonna show you I'm pretty much spent uh, <laughs> I don't have much left in the tank so we're just gonna put uh, probably just a little small tarp over this for the night and uh, kind of sit back and relax by the fire it's around 8 8 15 something like that so it's been a good uh, good full day. I'm really happy with the door. It's a lot better than what we used to have. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done on it, but uh, uh, we got this far and I'm happy. I'm gonna go sit by the fire. Don't get me wrong, we didn't work straight through the whole time. A couple of breaks here and there at supper, but uh, put in a fair amount of work today. Yeah, I gotta get up and put wood on fire.
thanks a lot for joining us folks I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far uh, first overnighter in the snow this year for the fall, er, not this year, the fall of 2019 Uh, we might not be alone tonight. <laughs> we, uh, we, there you go. Where was I? Where the lights went out. Oh yeah, we're, we might be, uh, be getting a visitor tonight. Um, when, uh, when we come down here, we often, uh, check out a trail cam. We set one up. We usually have it here. We've had it, uh, usually we see rabbits in it, squirrels. We saw a porcupine crawl in once. Yep. We hope that doesn't happen again while we're here. But uh, we set up down the trail. Unfortunately, we uh, screwed up the settings. But instead of getting video, we got these pictures. Um, what do you guys think? A dog or a coyote? <laughs> Pretty sure it's a coyote, but uh, it looks really healthy. Uh, I'm used to seeing them much skinnier, but uh, of course it's winter time, so they probably have a full coat. Uh, but uh, either way, I'm not concerned. Um, got this nice little shelter here. We got the fire. And uh, although we're probably not going to let it burn all night, but I'm still not concerned about a coyote. What are you? No. No. No, I sleep in the back. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> He's got to get through you before he gets to me, yeah. so. Yeah, Sarah's got to. Take him! <laughs> <laughs> She's got a somewhat delicious barrier in between her and the coyote. But uh, no, nah, there's there's no real concern for, uh, for a single coyote. Plus, uh, we didn't see any tracks at all on the way in. No. And uh, that footage came in uh, over a week ago. So, uh, no real concerns. But, uh, yeah, uh, they're calling for possible rain tonight, or snow tonight, and then it's going to warm up tomorrow morning, and it's going to be a mix of rain and snow. But, um, gorgeous night. Absolutely beautiful. We got a, almost a full moon, and uh, snow is in the trees, all nice and fresh. Really, it was uh, really worth coming. We're really happy to be here and to be spending the night. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far, and uh, tomorrow morning we'll probably leave fairly early because uh, along with that uh, rise in temperature, it's supposed to increase the winds, and if you guys have watched any of our videos, you know that it's not safe to be here when the winds are up. So uh, Plus, they're loaded, the trees are loaded with snow. They are, yeah, so they're, they're fairly heavy. heavy yeah. When yeah. the rain mixes in with that, it's going to make them extra dangerous, but uh, no real concern. That should only happen after we're up and at them. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to sit by the fire, relax, and uh, enjoy a really nice evening till it's time to set up the, the bedding. <laughs> uh, cheers, everyone. Is it good? It's IPA. Mm -hmm. Must be good then. Yeah, it's good. that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. So it's been a little while since we talked to you guys. It's probably around 11 o'clock now. We are just sitting by a really nice warm fire, having a nice cup. And uh, we've been a bit busy. We've got our uh, sleeping setups all ready. Uh, we got them stacked one on top of the other, so we have room to sit down. But uh, before we go to bed, we'll move them into place. Uh, spent a little while uh, on a new little hobby. I've been trying my hand at uh, some nighttime photography. It usually doesn't work out for me. <laughs> I lack skill and ability, but uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what came out, and we'll uh, we'll pop those in right about now, somewhere in the video. Sandra had a neat little idea. Um, after we finished the door as high as we were going to go, um, we had this uh, board that we use uh, when we are here with the hot tent and that we sit the uh, stove on top of it. It fit perfectly in the gap there, so she put that in there. And even though there's uh, air gaps in between these logs, the, the minute she put it in, it got warmer in here, yeah. which is really weird, which is awesome. So yeah, so everything is uh, everything's perfect. I think so. And there's no wind. Uh, it's around uh, minus six uh, Actually, Celsius, yeah. Yeah. and uh, it was. Uh, I think that would be around minus 24, minus one, uh, sorry, plus 24, plus 26 Fahrenheit. And we've had the thermometer in here for a little while. What do we have? Well, we probably only had it in here for maybe 15 minutes. Yeah. And it's showing about 19 degrees. 19 Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not and that warm in here. Fahrenheit is, it's hard to tell, it's uh, probably 65, maybe? Wow. Well, that would be up there, know. but... It is, it's up here, but yeah. it's it's right, like, our, at our level from yeah, the fire. Yeah, but we're still wearing full sleep, uh, <laughs> sleep bags. Sleeping bags. <laughs> <laughs> full winter jacket. Yeah, but I mean... It's well, anyway, it's generating a lot of heat, which is nice. Yep. That's nuts. So, um, uh, thanks a lot for sticking around, folks. I uh, got a few more things we're going to do, and uh, we'll see you guys then, right now. Cheers. Mm. Oh, a nice ashy drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we took the uh, thermometer outside, and after a few minutes, it uh, went back down to minus 6 Celsius, around minus 25 Fahrenheit. We brought it in, and instead of putting it on the ceiling, where we might get a bit of a false reading, because that's where the heat's all going to rise up to, we have it uh, down here next to us. Actually, we're actually somewhat blocking the fire, so let's see what kind of heat we're getting inside the shelter at the base. Center, because I can't see. I can't see without. Oh well, yeah, I can see. Thought I might need my headlamp. <laughs> uh, we're at 11. 11 Celsius. Yep. Which is uh, 55. 55 Fahrenheit, roughly. About, about 55. Yeah, close. It's so, so it's tiny. It's hard to see. <laughs> so up here we're around 19. Down here at 11. So we're probably sitting somewhere around 16 Celsius. We'll say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, the, the shelter is keeping some really nice heat. Once we have uh, our new door here fully insulated and a couple of these extra pieces uh, replaced and insulated, this thing's going to do great for us come winter time. So really happy how it's working out. This is awesome. Yes. This is great. It's awesome. It's going to be warm there once we put that plastic sheeting too. It's oh yeah, yeah. Once you have the, the super shelter built in, then you can really multiply that heat. So. Anyway, so just thought we'd keep you guys up to date, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Not sure if the camera's catching that, but uh, we have a beautiful light snow falling. Problem is, is that's supposed to be quickly replaced by rain, according to the forecast. And so, uh, and the winds are picking up because more and more uh, snow mounds are falling from the trees. So we're going to be packing up fairly soon, and uh, we're going to get out of here. Uh, if we do stick around, we're just going to get covered in snow. So we're just going to pack up and head her back. So how was uh, how was your English muffin? It was delicious. Yeah. Yep. Good. It's good. Had to be better than the energy bar I had. I would say so. You want to top off? Um, just a little bit, not much. Then. Say when. Oh. So we had a blast. A really really good time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's nice to be back in the shelter with snow on the ground. Now, although it's a bit early for my taste, <laughs> but still, it was gorgeous. Like I said uh, earlier in the video, this snow should be uh, melting away before uh, the end of next week. And uh, I hope to return next week. It may be a little while before the next video is out because I'm going to be traveling for uh, for work. 
for a while, so I'm not going to have the the time to edit uh, the videos in the evening. But uh, once I get back, we'll have that uh, video up, and uh, it'll probably be a day trip, I'm guessing. But uh, we want to get the moss into that wall at the end, in the back wall, and fi finish up our door and get moss in there. And if there's time, there never is, but if there's time, we'll get uh, some more wood into the shelter. All in all, though, great trip. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming along. Uh, we're uh, just going to finish packing up, and we'll see you guys uh, near the end. All right, so we're pretty much done packing now. Just got a few uh, extra items to uh, pick up. Um, I'm going to put the camera away. It's starting to rain, and there's so much snow falling from the trees. I don't want to leave my good camera out there. So uh, we're going to take this as a sign out. Thanks a lot, folks, for joining us. It's really appreciated. Uh, we're probably going to have the little... Uh, action cameras they're a little bit better in the <laughs> in the wet so we might have a little bit more footage on the walkout but uh, this is gonna be it for uh, for the trip so uh, had an awesome time mm. had a really really good time it was gorgeous uh, the temperature was really near perfect for these kinds of conditions it was around minus five minus six Celsius which is a little bit chilly but with the fire and the shelter kept us nice and warm and this morning the, you can tell the temperature difference in the air and the snow is falling uh, from the trees and from the sky. <laughs> so this was uh, another fun trip. So thanks a lot for joining us folks It's so appreciated and we hope to see you again next time. Take care everyone Bye bye